guys, what's up? My name is Rob Richards and I'm back in London, North London to be precise, at Hook's training gym to uh, basically take you through a shoulder workout and hit some biceps after. Come on, I can't wait, let's go. What I normally do each week is train, except this time I have a purpose of the competition, the WBFF, which is, I think, eight weeks today in uh, Toronto, Canada for the World Championships. First exercise I'm doing then, just warming up on the Smith machine, doing some big shoulder military presses. Always work with the big muscle groups first. Now, 20 reps on here. So as I'm nearing closer to my competition, I'm actually using more free weights and machine type exercises instead of the uh, free weights such as barbells, dumbbells, and the likes. I'm going to do some uh, mobility exercises, again working the shoulders, chest, it's really it's imperative that I fully warm up that muscle joint. Probably don't see me stretch all that often, it's because I don't. Stretching beforehand actually weakens the muscular strength. Slight variation on this now, elbows come forwards. I'm kind of front loading the bar instead of my typical elbows in line with my shoulders. I'm still keeping them in line but just facing forwards. Place this a little bit more loading emphasis on the front anterior deltoids. It really does work deep, deep within the uh, muscle tissue of the shoulder. So it's a great one to start off on. Bring my elbows back open and go with a full range of motion. First real work set is to failure, 12 reps maybe. Second and third work set, I want to try and hit failure a little bit early on and incorporate a technique such as a rest pause, a drop set, a strip set, to get within that upper range of my uh, rep limit. So for instance, if I fail at eight, I'd normally either drop a little bit of weight off or give myself 15, 20 seconds rest to get three or four more reps out, which I'm gonna do now. And that's how you do it. You fail within your 8 to 12 rep range. Fast fail at 4 or 5. It's too heavy, I need to drop the weight down, but just on that lower limit of 8 means I can take a shorter rest and go back and get a good uh, four more reps out on there. It's, it's commendable. And the reason for that is it really works my type 2B muscle fibers, which are the, the growth factor. They can actually grow 100% compared to the normal type 2 muscle fibers, which as you know are the white fast twitch muscle fibers. Okay, one more set. In fact, on this one, I'm gonna do a reverse pyramid set. As soon as I need that rest pause, I'm going to add more weight. I might only get two or three more, but I'll be maximally working those type 2B muscle fibers. Complete failure, I might even do a drop set. <clears throat> Give a 20 second rest period, add a small amount of weight on extra, and then really hit those type 2B muscle fibers. Okay. So, all out effort, heaviest weight I can. Now I'm probably gonna fall short of my eight rep range here because I've kind of done my most sets on hit. myself I had to do eight. Really I should be saying right ten. Ten's the minimum. So at least if I get close to that I'm gonna be a little bit higher up than if I settle. Alright. Alright so final rest pause. Heavy weight now. what it takes. I was shot, that's complete all out effort, 
total muscular failure. That's how I'm going to grow. Second exercise, moved over to the, what is known as the pec deck and did a reverse pec deck or fly to focus on my rear deltoid. Okay, well that was my, my main compound movement even though I was on a Smith machine, I was still working the larger muscle group, getting most of the energy done there. And now because I'm into, just starting my cutting phase now, eight weeks out, I'm kind of the biggest I'm ever going to be now for probably the rest of this year. Uh, I'm doing a lot more, not higher reps, I'm still keeping the weight heavy, but in terms of the machine selection, I'm doing much more isolated exercises. So that was my big movement for kind of the traps, working the delts all together, a lot of the medial deltoid head there and also the upper part of the back but now I'm coming into the rear deltoids I'm doing a, a reverse fly and uh, again just focusing all my efforts on the, the back part the posterior of the deltoid Third exercise, went over and I did standing front dumbbell raises. Simultaneously for some and uh, alternative for this workout in particular because I want to focus the most stress on each muscle head. It's tough. exercise uh, I focused on leaning side cable raises just so I can really not cheat at all on these exercises I load all of that stress of the muscle of, of the weight sorry onto that muscle the medial delta the middle part of my shoulder here so I was leaning on doing the cable raises as so good control same tempo as I would normally do with a free weight except it's consistent. I'm not having to start to cheat the rep towards the end of the set because my muscle is failing in energy. I can remain at that same tempo, which is great for distributing the energy and the weight being lifted throughout that full work set. Tense. Whew. 